new stars in alpha 3.92 just hit the ptu just a few hours ago still wave one which is going straight into the patch notes um for this one i'm going to start off with the known issues right now the very first one is missing header drop down for source category subcategory search in the shop kiosk CDB is restricted zone and will impound and teleport players upon arrival. Wait for player spawn timeout connection for arena commander, PTU, and live. The Aegis Reclaimer has no rare elevator interaction from ship exterior. Man, this is still happening. Thought they fixed that. Um, the Reclaimer main on elevator control panel do not respond to input. The interaction prompt for all mining turrets are easy to miss in an intuitive location for players. That's for the Argo Mole. And this is for the Hovercraft. The vehicle spawns slightly stuck in the ground. Hints do not appear when loading into the universe on the ultra wide setting. Mining UI is appearing in low resolution. The snub fighter lacks interaction prompt to enter it, making it unusable. So now this is the um, the Merlin for all the constellation variants. Okay, shards can fail to load after a crash or restart with a resource exhausted error during the query zone post. Issues with the RMC canister reload behavior. The trams are out of sync with the station timer, causing trams to overlap or not appear on time. Store kiosks won't populate location if certain ships are stored. The salvage attachment has the VFS for the tracked beam and does not function. Spawning ships causes the requested ship to spawn outside of the hangar. And while its claim becomes stuck on the floor near the hangars after being streamed out and back in. Before we move forward, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time it's the game package for the 100i. All you gotta do is subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of May to participate. Alright, well, let's move on to the rest of the video. For future updates on the locations, they updated building block shops, UI, cassava, dumpers, depot, style, BB implementation, Laravel LOD and collision polish pass. Under the gameplay category, they've added the default port unlock keybind, which is going to be the right alt plus K key. Also, they removed the old hint system and added a newly revamped dynamic hint UI. Under the bug fixes, they have a few. Players are given an instance may experience a response latency of up to dozens of seconds for interaction. When players stream out of an area and own vehicle, on streams the vehicle does not stream back in and the asop status says destroyed that's uh that's been fixed most of the landing pads on lorville skyscraper are missing collision enemy combat ai is slow to respond or react players can be injured or killed when getting out of a chair in a hab buying pharmacy items at an empire health results in an invalid location error the redeemer is missing collision on its floor. The collision wall is blocking the player from removing internal components with a tractor beam. So now this is for the miss hall A. All shopping kiosks are misaligned and offset interaction space. Replaced detached components cost one AUEC to repair, allowing cheap duplication and selling of non-stock components. Difficult to impossible to remove internal components due to geometry, and that's for the Drake Vulture. AI cutlass blacks will infinitely spawn in the area, and now this is the for the Ghost Hollow location. Find match button grayed out until players switch game modes, and now this is for Arena Commander. Also, under technical, they have one client crash as well as three server crashes. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.